So if I was starting over today, um, I would probably uh, start something in the construction space or home services space, maybe office services. I want to get in something that's, that's um, you know, I, I like uh, competing in areas where there's not a natural selection of people into that, right? So you don't want to be in the winery business because everyone in Silicon Valley that exits uh, a business goes and buys a winery, right? Um, and pumps a bunch of money into it. Um, like I don't, I don't want to be in the, the film business because everybody who, you know, every son of a billionaire, you know, makes movies. Um, you know, owning restaurants is really difficult. I mean, separate from all the stuff we're going through now, um, because everyone, you know, that makes any money thinks it'd be easy and wants to own their own restaurant. So I like to things that sort of have a natural um, selection bias against them. Like nobody drives by somebody building a swimming pool in Arizona in the summer and says, you know what, I really want to quit my job in the air conditioning and go dig a hole in the ground, right? Um, so we want to you know, get involved in things like that. I would um, try to take something probably that, that is small and partner with them, that they already have the infrastructure in place, the, the sort of the, the technical side and the systems there. And then I would really try to spend some time, um, you know, how can we use, you know, latest technology to uh, make us more efficient, try to build something that's scalable sort of beyond a geography. Um, and get a model down, a billing model, a sales model uh, down that we thought was replicatable um, and that really had some sort of mode around it. And then I would try to um, scale it over time. Um, and I hey, think what specifically? Uh, yeah, anything specifically? I, I think it would depend on largely on, on what I could find uh, in the geography. I mean, here, here in Columbia, I mean, there's, um, there's a fantastic HVAC service company that's uh, still fairly small, but they've got great systems. They actually develop their own software. It'd be something like that that I'd want to partner with and say, okay, look, let the, you know, I want to get my hands dirty. I want to get involved in it. I mean, I'm, a, I'm not an investor by heart, like by, I mean, I'm an entrepreneur. That's what I love to do. And that's how we think about our business is, is being operators and entrepreneurs. And so um, I, I wouldn't necessarily get involved in finance. I mean, finance to me is a mechanism that allows and enables entrepreneurship and, and you know, running real companies. It's not trading paper back and forth. So I would probably uh, get far more involved in, in sort of non-tech entrepreneurship, which I know you guys are in Silicon Valley and this can fall on deaf ears. No, but I, 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 like, I like what you're saying. But you, you, so you said HVAC, you said yeah, it's HVAC, pools. Like, yeah, pools, lawn service. Um, I think, um, uh, I, you know, I like- Lawn service. Yeah, like lawn, like lawn and garden care type stuff. I mean, have you ever tried to get somebody to call you back? It's <laughs> yeah. You want to hear something cool? We had um. So Brian, you know who Brian Scudamore is? Uh -uh. Scudamore. Uh, one eight hundred got junk. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the guy owns his, the guy who owns it. His name's Brian. He's Canadian. He's friends with me and Sean. Um, I shoot the shit with him every once in a while. It's like a what is that, Sean? Like a five hundred million dollar a year company. He owns yeah. all of it. <laughs> and he um we either me or some one of us asked him where opportunity is and he goes man if i had to do the same thing i would do 1-800 got junk but i would do it for uh, lawn care or for irrigation yep yep that's type of stuff i'm talking about yeah i mean there's 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 all these like strange i mean niches that you can get into what i would do is probably take my time and go and talk to a lot of people who are already in business and say what is your biggest problem like who's the supplier that you're most annoyed with um, you know, what's the customer that you have that's just killing it, that type of thing. Um, and I'd probably go try to snake my way into one of those, uh, one of those businesses. And, and then just, it's really just about getting a foothold, right? I mean, that's what you need is you need a foothold and then you can start building on it from there. Um, but I mean, the, the problem is if you've got a, if you've got a boat that you're trying to row, that's rickety and, and it may look pretty on the outside, but it's just not going to go anywhere. It doesn't matter how hard you row it. And I think that's in, you know, early in my career when I was involved in, you know, more of the agency business. That's how I felt. It was felt like, I mean, I could just row that thing as hard as I could and I'd maybe get an inch further. Um, and that's where I just want to get out of businesses that are like that. 